Hey folks and welcome to this weekly update of Azure News from myself, Sarah Lean. This episode was recorded on the 9th of August 2024. Vaulted backups are now generally available for Azure Blob Storage. This is a native, managed, secure backup solution that keeps an off-site copy of your data and safeguards your business-critical data stored in Azure Blob Storage. Vaulted backups can also help you meet compliance requirements through long-term retention and enhance the security of your backups, helping you to recover your data even in cases of cyber attacks. Also generally available is an improved control on archiving with Azure Blob Storage Lifecycle Management. The field days after last tier change greater than option now allows users to specify a minimum duration that rehydrated objects stay accessible in on an, an online tier. Users can prevent the immediate re-archiving of objects that were recently hydrated from the archive tier by using that field in the lifecycle rules. In public preview is a new dashboard that allows you to get an insight into the carbon footprint of your cloud consumption. This dashboard is called the Azure Carbon Optimization Dashboard. And this dashboard will help you visualise the environmental impact in more relatable terms, such as planted trees to facilitate decision making, and also give recommendations on how to reduce carbon emissions and cloud costs by deleting or resizing underutilised resources. Now, in some personal news, on the 13th of August, I will be doing a live stream on my YouTube channel. It will be focusing on Azure Arc enabled servers. So please join me on that Q&A session so that we can share some knowledge and interact together. Back to the news. There is a Azure API Center Visual Studio Code extension that enables you to build, discover, try and consume the APIs uh, that you have stored in your Azure API Center. Now, there is a pre-released version of that extension to allow you to try and test new features of the extension before they go live. So definitely do check that out if you want to get on the latest and greatest for the extension. Azure NetApp Files cross-zone replication is generally available and this feature allows you to replicate your Azure NetApp files volumes asynchronously from one Azure availability zone to another within the same region. Cross-zone replication doesn't involve any network transfer costs and therefore is highly cost effective. Also generally available for Azure NetApp files is the ability to deploy new volumes in an availability zone of your choice. So with this capability, you can align your volumes with your other compute resources that you might have deployed and help with your highly available architecture and design requirement. Also for Azure NetApp Files is a public preview feature that allows you to transition your existing volumes protected with a platform managed key to using a customer managed key stored in the Azure Key Vault. Thanks for tuning in, folks. And please don't forget to leave me a review, share this podcast and subscribe on whatever platform you're listening on and I'll see you again soon.